Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2023 and another part of the journeyman with Real Madrid. Today we are back with perhaps the three biggest matches of the series so far. We are playing Barcelona in the El Clasico um, or the the final El Clasico of uh, this, this season in, in La Liga. Um, then we are taking on Bayern Munich in the second leg of the Champions League quarterfinal before another El Clasico and this time in the Copa del Rey final. So today it could go brilliantly. We could win all three matches and be a very happy chappy. We could also lose all three matches and be in a very precarious position in both the uh, Premier League, out of the uh, Premier League, La Liga, uh, out of the Champions League and also losing in the Copa del Rey final. So we could go a long way towards the quadruple today. We could also take a large step out of it as well. So since you were last with me, things have gone reasonably well. Uh, we have, uh, well, we beat Real Sociedad 1-0. Kylian Mbappe scored there in the Copa del Rey semi-final second leg. Uh, then we beat Athletic, uh, Athletic Bilbao 3-0. Kylian Mbappe with two. Jeremy uh, Doku also on the score sheet there. We then beat uh, Real Sociedad 5-0 in the Copa del Rey semi-final first leg with Vinicius Jr., Angelo, Korobov and uh, Kylian Mbappe scoring two there. Uh, most recently, we beat Bayern Munich in the first leg of the quarterfinal of the Champions League 3-2 away from home. It's still all to play for in this return leg. Uh, Bayern Munich look very, very good. They look very strong. It's going to be a tricky one. Uh, I definitely think that. And of course, three massive matches in the next week. We're playing every three days at the moment, so it's it's tough on the legs. But uh, we're still doing well. We are still top of the league. Seven points clear of Barcelona with the game in hand. This would essentially wrap up the title, you would imagine. It would put us theoretically 13 points clear with <coughs> 24 to play for. So... You know, unless something went horribly wrong, we would be winning La Liga this year. But uh, we will see. Squad performances then. Top goal scorer is Kylian Mbappe with 75 from 48. He's creeping towards that 80 mark. He needs another 25 goals this season. He's got 10 more league games, uh, plus a Copa del Rey final uh, and potentially another five, um, sorry, four Champions League matches. So what are we looking at? We're looking at 15 matches to score 25 goals to get him to 100. He's just about on track to do it this year, which would be ridiculous. 24 goals for Angelo as well. What a season he's had. And 15 for Vinicius Jr. 8 each for Ballesteros, Moretti and Doku. Uh, top assists then is Angelo with 23. 21 for Vinicius Jr. 18 for Moretti there. 14 for Mbappe. And 13 for uh, Aurelian Chouameni. Top average rating is, of course, Kylian Mbappe with an 8.14. But Vinicius Jr., Angelo, Chouameni, Korobov, uh, Moretti, all up there with very, very good average ratings. Right then, let's have a little look at the team for today. In today's first El Clasico, we are going to go for an absolute triple header of emotions today and this weirdly is the least important of the three matches we've got Matteo Rizzo starting in goal with Moitas, Bose, Korobov and Missy Botto in defence we've then got Chouameni as our anchor man Moretti and Lopez in the middle of the park Angelo and Vinicius Jr supporting Kylian Mbappe up top so here we go then of course we beat Barcelona in the reverse fixture earlier this season at Camp Nou and fingers crossed we can continue that form today. We've, I think, gone over 30 matches unbeaten in all competitions. We are an unbelievable team and we are ready to now go and go and get a great result against Barcelona today. That will put us a long way towards winning this division and our first league, top division league title win as a manager in this series. Angelo forward, and here's Kylian Mbappe with a chance, and it's a good save. And uh, we will be counting down to 125 is the required mark for Kylian to get there. 
Hopefully he can score one or two today to not only help us to victory today, but also help him towards a project 100. He is going to have to score virtually two a game to be able to do it. Right, half an hour gone in this match, and although we've dominated, we are not quite uh, in the lead just yet. Here's Abraham Lopez on the ball. Gets it wide to Fabio Moretti, who shoots and hits the bar. That was very close. Doesn't manage it, though. Uh, Missy Botto has taken a knock, so we're going to put Malassia on at left back. Missy Botto has been doing a decent job, you know, um, at left back. And, well, here's Kylian Mbappe with a chance to whip it in now. Mbappe into the middle. It's headed away. Here's Tim Bose. Gets it now back to Chouameni. That's forward towards Kylian Mbappe, who cuts inside, and that's just wide. That was very, very close. That could have been a... A big chance right there, but it doesn't go into the back of the net. And he's not having the best of games for once. Chouameni to Malassia. He has Moretti forward to Vinicius Jr. now. Vinicius into Lopez. Lopez with the shot hits the bar. And we have absolutely dominated this first half. We haven't got over the line just yet, though. And, uh, yeah, I think I think we need to, to keep playing well. I think keep killing Mbappe on, but Vinicius Jr. is going to come off. We're going to put Jeremy Doku on that left-hand side, and he's been doing pretty well recently, so I think that's a good change to make. We have got the option of Ballesteros up top as well. And yeah, maybe Kylian Mbappe does need to come off. He's given it everything, but isn't at his best, unfortunately. So he will be coming off now. Chuameni is going to come off for Ramadani. Boss is going to come off. No, he's not. Uh, and we'll put Zambrano at right back. We've got 25 minutes. Come on, boys. Let's get the three points against Barca today. Obviously, we're not going to get anywhere towards Project 100 for... Killian, but there's Moretti forward to Doku into the middle. Angelo's there, and Angelo scores, and he puts us ahead in El Clasico. And that would be enough for me to win this 1-0, grind out the result. We have been the better team and fully deserve it. And it was Doku with the, the lovely cross into the middle, and Angelo with his 25th goal of the season puts us 1-0 up, and that is now us in theory 13 points clear if we win our game in hand which all the stats suggest we would but wow blast from the past there Marcus Leonardo nearly brought Barcelona back onto level terms it would feel undeserved if they were to get anything out of this game they've offered nothing other than that chance there and we do get to the final whistle and it is 1-0 against Barcelona that will do very nicely thank you and uh yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a good result in El Clasico, but we, we've got to do better if we want to go through against Bayern Munich next time out. OK, a couple of changes for this match against Bayern Munich then. Uh, Ramadani will go to right back. Uh, Abdel Latif is our anchor man and uh, Chouameni has moved into the midfield. Jeremy Doku has come in to replace Vinicius Jr., Right, uh, massive, massive match. Could be our last Champions League match of the season. And we are ready and raring to go. So let's enjoy ourselves. Hopefully we cannot allow complacency to undo our good work. We went to Bayern Munich and we won away from Bayern Munich. Now we need to hold on to it with a, a great home performance. So here we go. Real Madrid versus Bayern Munich. Enjoy it.
So here we are then. We are ready and raring to go. Let's go and do it. Ooh, here's Missy Botto. Gets it into too many. Back to Missy Botto now, who's uh, training as a left back in training as well. Here's Doku cuts inside. It's Abdel Latif with the shot, and he takes us into the lead on the night, and that gives us a two-goal cushion over Bayern Munich, and it's the two players we brought in to the starting lineup that have contributed to that. It was Doku. Uh, who originally had the run. He got tackled, but what a shot from... Uh, what's his name? Mohamed uh, Abdel Latif, who's one of the, the best young prospects in the world, and that was a terrific shot in a Champions League quarterfinal. Here's Angelo with a great chance to make it two. Lopez is there, and he has scored, but I wonder if that is offside. But uh, if not, two of our absolute future stars at this football club have put us virtually into a semi-final and the goal is awarded. I wasn't expecting that. Let's have a look at this again. Too um, many. And then it was Angelo forward. And you can see, well, Mbappe was offside. Lopez wasn't. 2-0 to Real Madrid. And you would say that that, more than likely, is tie over. Because we're 5-2 up. Are we realistically going to concede three at home to... Bayern Munich and this could be no I was I was thinking that could be a yellow card Mbappe gets it into the middle balls with the header he makes it three Rear, Bayern Munich were definitely caught unawares there and that makes it 6-2 now on aggregate and it was a beautiful loop over from Kylian Mbappe and he makes it three now 3-0 three Job done. We can relax a little bit now. We can start thinking about the Copa del Rey final in a few days, trying to get our second bit of silverware of uh, the Real Madrid tenure. And we're keeping ourselves in with a chance of winning the Champions League. But here's Brett Betts, and he scores. 15th goal of the season for him. Gives... Bayern Munich a little bit of hope, but they're still going to need to score another three just to take it to extra time. And you would say that that's unlikely, to say the least. But half-time it is, 3-1. And we've got to say we're very, very happy with that. I think we're going to go attacking in the second half. I think we need to, to keep pushing on. Uh, Missy Bottle's having a good game. And I think that shows, you know, what a solid player he actually is. Uh, Bosa is going to come off. We're going to put Moitas there. Don't really play Moitas in the in the centre of defence too much, but uh, want to give him a chance. Angelo is going to come off as well. We'll put Vinicius Junior on the right hand side. Again, not really a, a change that we make too often, and Vinicius doesn't get the chance too much to play on the right hand side. But I think it's important to to rest our players as much as we can ahead of. Uh, the next final. Here's Doku. Good tackle on the ball, but uh, wow, Topic gets it back, and here's Eric, and that's forward to Betts. Ooh, good save from Rizzo. I tell you what, he scores there, and it's a game on again all of a sudden, but uh, luckily for us, still 3 1. Here's Zambrano, throws it in towards Vinicius Jr., who doesn't get there. Here's Moitas now. Moitas pushing forward. Bringing all of Real Madrid forward with him. Doku into Mbappe, who scores, but that may well be offside. Is that going to be number 76 of the season? Let's find out. They are checking it, and it was disallowed. Yeah, Mbappe has, has gone missing the last couple of games. He put in that great free kick for Tim Bose with the header, but... Yeah, he hasn't done a lot since, has he? Now then. I think Doku's pretty tired, so we're going to put Missy Botto up there. We'll put Molassia at left back. Mbappe is going to come off for uh, Johnny Ballesteros for the last 20 minutes. And we might even start Johnny Ballesteros in the Copa del Rey final. <sighs> Has Mbappe finally ran out of steam? This will be his third game without a goal. I think we can wave goodbye to Project 100. 
But there you go, we are through to the Champions League semi-final. That was a great performance. We obviously put it out of reach in the first 22 minutes of the game, going 3-0 up, but uh, that was fantastic. That's how you win a, a two-leg tie. Uh, you know, you go away, you get the 1-0 victory, and then you take control in the second leg. Look at that, though. Porto versus Man United. Manchester United, 8. Porto, 3. Uh, on aggregate now wonder are we actually playing man united in the the next round yes we are so man united first leg that's going to be a big one at old trafford and uh, that will be the next episode as well won't it the the second leg uh which will be round there and we'll couple that up with valencia perhaps uh next time out but ooh, it's it's certainly going to be an interesting one and uh Man United are probably favourites, I, I would suggest, but um, we will give it our all. Let's go and get another bit of silverware first. Okay then, just the one change for this match in the final. Uh, we've brought in Fabio Moretti into midfield to replace Abraham Lopez. Everything else is staying the same, so let's get ourselves into it. The final of the Copa del Rey a chance to win our second trophy of the season, our second trophy in charge of Real Madrid. And of course, uh, a, th a fourth El Clasico victory for us out of four, which would be probably the most impressive stat of the lot, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Fingers crossed we can put in the performance that we know we can. We've performed very well uh, today so far. We, we played well against Barcelona got just the one goal but did win it shut them out of the game we then went and beat Bayern Munich one of the best teams in Europe 3-1 in the Champions League quarter-final we're ready to go now let's uh, go and get a hat-trick of victories today and our second trophy of the season but uh, Barcelona have a chance here from the corner João Felix whips it in it is a head and it's a great save from Rizzo that was unbelievable from him Here's Zupan, a shot's just over the bar. I tell you what, though, that was close. Uh, Barcelona looking strong at the start of this match. And we will have to turn it around. We have given Mbappe the nod today over Ballesteros. We're hoping he will find his form today, although that was very poor, wasn't it? But can he win it back and grab a goal? That's the thing you, you feel like if you get it on his boot in the 18-yard box, which we have now. He's going to just go and do that and put us 1-0 in front. And that is Kylian Mbappe's 76th goal of the season. He needs 24 more to get to Project 100. He's only got 13 games, including this one, to do that in now. Um, and that's a, a great little dink over the top, isn't it? On 1 0, and that could completely change his game now. Now he's on the score sheet, and he's ended that little mini goal drought of uh, three goal, three games without a goal. And now, hopefully, he'll go and score a hat trick. That's the plan, anyway. Here's Bose, gets it to Abdel Latif. Bose again with a, a, a chance. Ramadani. Bose, Ramadani. Great ball forward. But Mbappe can't get there. Here's Doku. Doku loses it. That's a terrible pass. And we preferred him over the captain, Vinicius Jr. today. Because he has been in really good form recently. Here he is again. Hopefully going to make it up to us. Abdel Latif. Now he has Doku over the top. Kylian Mbappe runs onto it. And nearly got his second. It was a good shot, but a good save from the goalkeeper, who I think is still Meslier. Yeah, it is. Here's Mbappe. Can he get it towards the back post? It's headed away by Zupan. He has Abdel Latif. Oh, and that's a horrible t challenge from Zupan. And that could have easily been a yellow or red, but referee lets him off with it. Half time, 1 0. And yeah, I think we've just got to be wary of complacency. In this second half, I think Doku is going to come off for Vinicius Jr. Are we weak anywhere else? Uh, Boss isn't having the best game. Uh, Abdel Latif isn't either. But 
we'll keep it like that for now. Into the second half we go. Ooh. Yeah, it could be. Could be a nervy finish this if it stays at 1-0. We actually haven't had more possession. That is very odd for us, but I suppose we are playing the kings of Tiki Taka, aren't we? Barcelona, Ferran. And here's Havertz. And yeah, Barcelona still got some big names in their squad. Here's João Felix on the left hand side. And that's good play. It's Ferran Torres, but uh Ramadani away, Missy Botto now forward to Vinicius Jr. That was a great clearance, and Vinicius Jr. now shown why he should have started this match. He whips it in all the way over to Angelo now. Angelo gets it to Abdel Latif. That's forward. Vinicius Jr. I think was offside there. And Mbappe does score his second of the game if he wasn't, but it did feel like he was well offside, and it is a disallowed goal. But yeah, Vinicius Jr. looking good since he's come on. Right. Yeah, Angelo having a good game. I was thinking, do we bring him off? He's looking tired. Two are many looking tired, but both of them are having good games. And I think we just want to keep them on. Yeah, Zupan. Zupan on the ball. Now to uh, Sakpo, I think it was. Oh, it's Leonardo. He hits the post. Marcos Leonardo had a great chance there. Oh, and that's a bad tackle. And, yeah, yellow card for Saravec. We've got 10 minutes to go here. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm not going to make any changes. we got three minutes of added time. Oh. Highlight in the last 30 seconds. Hopefully it's going to be us getting the second. Moretti for to Mbappe. What a goal that is. I think referee's flag is down. Referee's flag is down. So I think that is disallowed. Oh, must have been close this. Mbappe could have had a hat-trick there. Well, to be fair, he was a decent amount offside. I mean, it's a fabulous finish. Don't get me wrong, but we have won the Copa del Rey. It is our second trophy in charge of Real Madrid. And we're coming up and everybody's loving it. And we get ready. We hand it over. And they get down on their knees. And they throw the trophy in the air. We are the Copa del Rey winners of 2035. Wow. And that is our second tournament victory already. Who's going to do the cartwheel? It's going to be number 11, who I think is Vinicius, isn't it? I think number 11 is Vinicius Jr. But what a performance. What a victory. And yeah, it was Vinicius Jr., and I don't know who captained us today, but uh, they lifted the trophy, not Vinicius. Uh, yeah. Barcelona didn't actually make any substitutions. That's crazy, isn't it? But there you go. Uh, Kylian Mbappe, two disallowed goals, but his goal was the difference between the two sides. Two 1-0 victories over Barcelona today. Another trophy in the bag. And... The quadruple is still on. The quadruple is still on. And that's what we are aiming towards this season. Um, they're very happy about that. The board are happy about that as well. Um, Angelo was on form. We qualify for the Europa League through that. Of course, we, we will do more than that this season. Uh, weirdly, we haven't even qualified through the league into the Europa League yet, which is... Yep, a bit bizarre, considering we are, what, 17 points clear of fifth place. They've got six games to go. So I guess it's coming, isn't it? <laughs> it is coming probably in the next match or so uh, that we will be a Champions League club next season, guaranteed. We have got Man United in the semi-final of the Champions League. That is going to be tough. Um, and, uh, of course, next episode... 
we will be back with the second leg of that encounter. So we're going to bookend that with Valencia as well. And hopefully we'll keep it competitive, just like we did against Bayern Munich. Maybe go away, snatch a, a narrow victory. But hopefully a draw or a narrow defeat away at Old Trafford to give us every chance to come back, bring them back to the Bernabeu and perform from there. That's our plan. That's our hope. And I think that's our expectation. So... If you have enjoyed that, then give yourself a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Football Manager videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.